Something amazing just came into the mail. What's up, gamers? It's your boy Beast Game Akuma here with a new unboxing and a review that's going to be happening. We have something special from Retro Fighters. I did the Kickstarter many, many moons ago, and I supported this thing because we always wanted a new style of Dreamcast controller because this is what we had to deal with. I mean, real talk, it's not that bad of a design. I'm not going to lie, it's a bad design because the controller had to be put like this back. I was like, why would you do that? It was weird. And, and I mean, it had the nice USB area, and I still got the VMU and everything like that, but wasn't a fan of this controller. Was not a fan of this controller. But lovely people at Retro Fighters decided that, hey, we need to give some people something new to play with. Even though the Dreamcast has been discontinued for years, but it has a revitalization, thanks to many new games that's been coming out for the Dreamcast. Also, shout out to Video Games New York. Uh, Yeah. So let's get right into this. It's gonna be a quick thing. I'm not gonna show you the whole. It's an unboxing. I mean, come on, please. Boom. Woo! Striker DC, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. How do I get in this? Oh, it's a slide box. Slide box. <laughs> That is obviously childproof. Come on. Eventually. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Working up a sweat. I'm fat, but whatever. Okay, so. Retro Fighters fact. Why does the analog stick feel like it has light resistance? Oh, so they give you a whole fact on the whole controller, which I'll read later. Look at that. I get my special stickers for being a backer. So we quick start instructional manual. I see a thank you, thank you. Uh-huh, uh-huh, show the buttons. I know about those. Triggers, okay. Dope keychain, of course, from Retro Fighters. But the PS dead resistance! The controller. Look at this bad boy. Look at this. Look at that. It's in the back. Look at that. That's nice. Ooh, that's loose. Feels nice. I wonder if my nub can fit on this. Let me see. Oh, yes, it does. My nub fits on this. Yes. Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. If it's. Yes! What am I doing? Let's play some video games, shall we? Yeah. So, of course, you cannot do a game controller review without showing off some games. So, as of right now, we're testing out a few of my favorite titles. We got Dead or Alive 2, we got Jet Set Radio, some crazy taxi thrown in there. We even threw in a few others like Marvel vs. Capcom, Capcom vs. SNK2, Millennium Fight, you get the idea. The controller feels very smooth. And I feel a little bit weird about the analog stick because it feels a little bit loose but not too bad. It gives you that nice feel and response time is amazing but I'm afraid since I'm very heavy handed, I'm afraid that I might snap the controller so I'm hoping that won't be a case after wear and tear for a while so we'll see what happens but other than that got the turbo feature, you got the start button of course in the middle, you can clear up the turbo if you want. I'm also curious about why they decided to add four shoulder buttons, because I'm like, hmm, I don't know any other games on Dreamcast that uses four shoulder buttons, but other than that, I'm digging it. I'm going to get the this little piece that I'm trying to find that I can actually use this Retro Fighter on my PC. Now, I'm expecting other design colors to come out because, you know, I'm not going to lie, I do like to collect different styles of color. I don't like the gray style of color because when I had the original Dreamcast, I had either the black or the red controller. So I'm hoping that Retro Fighters come out with multiple colors. I mean, I saw that was a goal in the Kickstarter, but this controller it has a nice weight to it. And of course, the Rumble Pack feature that I'm going to have to pick up from Video Games New York fits just nicely in the back. And as I said, look, playing 
De- I had to play Dead or Alive 2 after Afro Show did a review on it, so I definitely highly recommend checking them out. I'll put that link in the description below. But yeah, I feel like this is a good weight to this controller. It feels comfortable. And if you still have a Dreamcast, which I know video games in New York is selling them, definitely pick yourself up one and get this retro Striker DC controller. It is what we wanted for a Dreamcast controller. That's pretty much all I can say out of it. So, bottom line, I'm definitely going to give this a buy. It is going for $49.99, and you can definitely check out Video Games New York to purchase yours right now. Well, other than that, back to you, Beast. There you have it. Yo, Retro Fighter controller feels great. As I said in my video, playing out all those games. The only thing that's weird is that, you know, the analog stick is a little bit loose, and it makes me afraid to put too much pressure on that. We have a nice turbo controller. You can clear that out. Have yet to... You, this is actually the first time a Dreamcast controller has four shoulder buttons, but I wouldn't really know what Dreamcast game would use the shoulder buttons. Feels pretty decent. The controllers, I mean, the triggers are a little bit smaller than prior other ones, but other than that, I, I like it. It's pretty dope. And I'm using that old school term, dope. <laughs> VMU, I need to replace the battery on my VMU, but still... This should have came out for the original Dreamcast. I don't know what they was thinking about with that original design, but man, we came a long way with these controllers, and I'm glad Retro Fighters decided to give us a new revamp on these controllers. All these games felt so good playing this system. Ah, oh. real talk. Special shout out to Video Games New York for supplying me with a system, as well as Retro Fighters for making a great freaking controller so as of right now the striker dc controller is available at video games for 49.99 so you can pick up your copy i can send the link when i have the link available in the description below but yo if you have this and you did the kickstarter for it yo comment below let's discuss this how you feel about it are you hoping for other colors because i know they was talking about other colors for this system i would love a black one to be honest but yeah 49.99 not that bad especially if you have if you still got your dreamcast um, as I said in my video, you can check out the Afro Show, who did a review for Dead or Alive 2. And, yeah, I would definitely recommend this to put in your collection. This is, feels a, way better than the original Dreamcast controller. The design is sleek, and I just, just love it. And got two slots for the VMU. I guess, you know, if you want to use the Rumble Pack, because I know they still... Video Games New York still sells the Rumble Pack for these as well. So you can definitely get everything you need retro from Video Games New York, so... Definitely check it out. Again, once again, Retro Fighters, you did a great job on this controller. I'm very happy on my investment onto this. Again, hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed. If you did not enjoy, yo, hit that dislike. I take all critique. It's all good. And as always, beast out, you crazy gamers. Video is sponsored by Video Games New York. Please check them out for all your video game needs. Mm.